What's up everybody, this is Ed from I Bring Back. We've started our look at lists in Python and we're gonna continue that look at lists today. Last time around I showed you how to make a list and how to subset it. Today we're gonna look beyond the basic subsetting and do a little bit more complicated stuff and do some list slicing. So if you're ready, let's get to it. Okay, so let's take a look at our script today. We've got a list here, and it's a list of integers. These turn out to be Fibonacci numbers. Uh, interesting sequence. Look it up if you want to learn about that. But here we're mostly going to be talking about Python. So take a brief look there, and let's run this and see what we get. All right, we've got the shell to pop open. And as is tradition, I'll go ahead and have it anchor to the right-hand side of the screen here. Printed the list, nothing too wild there. You'll notice that none of those other lines over here ended up running because they are commented out. But let's go ahead and knock the comments off of the first two to refresh ourselves from last episode and run the thing again. All right, so prints out the list like we told it to, prints out the first item, which is one, and then it prints out the fifth item, which would look, we have zero, one, two, three, four, Five, so not the fifth item, but position five. Watch how you talk about that. It's going to give us the number eight. Everything works like we remember from last time. Okay, let's move down the list here. Now we've got some subsets that are negative. Let's see how these turn out. We've got print my list to negative one and print my list position negative five. Let's save it and run the whole thing again. And you'll see what it gives us are 144 and 21. So as we look up here at the list, we can see 144 is the final position, and when you are looking to indicate the last position in the list, that's how you do it. You do that by subsetting to negative 1. So in a similar way, subsetting negative 5 will give us a position 5 back from the end. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 21 is what we'd expect, and 21 is exactly what we got. And you'll notice that distinction. When we're counting from the front, we start at 0. Counting from the back like that, you start at 1. So if we tried to run oh, my list minus 0, Let's go ahead and see what it spits out with us. And you'll see it gives us one again, that first number. And to an extent, you could say that makes sense. Uh, negative zero is equal to zero, whereas negative one is not equal to one. I couldn't give you the justification for it. Uh, that's, that's not something I know well enough about to tell you right at the present time. But uh, it's something you should be aware of. So that distinction between counting from the back and counting from the front becomes important for the next step, which is slicing lists, which is to say subsetting them for getting out more than one item at a time, taking a piece of the list rather than just one item from the list. Let's take a look at how that works. So the first line we have for slicing here is going to be print this my list to colon. And we'll save it, run it, see what it gives us. And you'll see it gives us most of the list back. But we're starting with two. And the first two items in the list are one and one at positions zero and one. So it starts from position two and goes on from there. So when we use the colon, we're going to separate a start position and an end position that we're going to slice out of our string. So in this particular case, we've only given it a start position, so it's going to go all the way to the end of our list. I misspoke. It's start position and end position for our list. So starting from the position of two, it gave us the whole rest of the list. So working from the other side of the colon over here, let's take a look and see what it spits out at us. Mismatch some buttons and see what comes out here. All right, we get one, one, two, three, five, which is to say position zero, one, two, three, and four. So remember how I told you just mere seconds ago that we treat counting from the beginning and counting from the end differently? What you're gonna get in every case when you give an end position for your string slices, you're gonna stop at that position minus one. So we say, go from the beginning to five, you'll get position zero, one, two, three, and four. If you wanted to get the, the Positions 0 through 5, you'd have to say go through the beginning, colon, 6. So uh, they're different in that way, and that's something to be mindful of. Let's look at this last line here with where we have uh, our uh, penultimate line, line, not last line. We have the list with uh, subset both starting and end positions for our slice. Comes out 2, 3, 5, which is to say position 2 position three and position four, which is position five minus one. Lastly, if you give it just the colon all by itself, you'll see what comes out. It's the whole darn list. So nothing too terribly wild there that becomes 
pretty repeatedly important as you start to build more complicated things. Just wanted to make sure that we worked this important introductory material into the beginning. Again, my name is Ed, cranking out Python videos for my bringback.com. Please take the time to follow our output on YouTube. Got a lot of good people making a lot of good stuff on here, and it's going to do you a lot of good to watch it.